price and just try to get it early. That's the name of the game. If you really want to go somewhere for a good affordable price, get it early. <laughs> say where we at where we at girl we at work so i got her early and i was like let me knock this video out because i told y'all we're being consistent so yeah y'all already know what we're gonna talk about today because you've seen that title is denver what you need to know for you go you know what i'm saying if you haven't seen my vlog make sure you go watch part one and part two go get a good feel for what we did when we were on the trip so the stuff that i'm saying in this video makes sense so if you watch this video first then go watch them but if you already watched the vlog Y'all already prepared. Y'all already ready for what's about to come to you. We're going to start with, we're going to have three different overall topics, and that's going to be price. And I'm going to talk about different things under price. Then I'm going to talk about the weather overall, like what I brought, what you need to bring, or what I think you should bring. You know what I'm saying? I'm not an expert on Denver. I'm just letting you know. But again, my experience. And then what to do in Denver. Like the scenes, you know what I'm saying? Like just general stuff to do when you're going out of town. So like I said, we're gonna start with the price because we're gonna get right up into it. So the reason that I picked Denver, one was because I wanted some scenery and I wanted to go to a place that was just different from what I've been accustomed to and used to. I live in Texas, so it's like Denver had different mountain ranges, different stuff like that. Stuff that I didn't, you know what I'm saying, ever really grow up around and get a chance to see. So that was really one of my main reasons for going to Denver because I wanted to be in the mountains. So the flight is literally another main thing that caught me to this trip because the flight was only about 50 60 dollars at minimum now my flight ended up being about 120 dollars and that's because i went with american and even with going with american and everything with the price of my flight in the airbnb we stayed right under 250 i'm also going to do another video during this month about um just different vacations you can go on with your friends to stay under 250 so stay tuned for that but it was under 250 for this whole entire trip for that and that's getting to the next portion of it like i said the flights they range and they vary but we got ours two months in advance and when i say we uh, like i said if you watched the vlog you know it was six people with me so the um and we all came from different places too let me say that too some people will be like well it was only that cheap because you came from texas no we had somebody come from st louis and then we had everybody else basically come from texas but the flight from St. Louis was one of the cheaper flights as well. So make sure you look into those flights and just try to get it early. That's the name of the game. If you really want to go somewhere for a good affordable price, get it early. Next thing we're going to talk about is the Airbnb. Now in Denver, I can say that the prices of Airbnbs are, Airbnbs are average. Like they have some top of the line, they have some regulars, they have some cheaper ones, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like with Airbnb, every place, it kind of feels like that. But we paid about i think 150 dollars a night for our airbnb and we stayed for four nights in total so when you watch the vlog you'll see the airbnb and you'll see where we where we stay you know what i'm saying it wasn't nothing we nowhere super super nice but it wasn't nowhere super super bad it also had great amenities as far as being close to the airport and different things like that and that was one of our main goals to just make sure that when we had to leave that sunday we wasn't nowhere too too far you know that was part of it so another reason why we picked that Airbnb location was food. If you look at food before you come to Denver, I really just kind of was on TikTok and then like watching other people's vlogs. But TikTok had like these few little food places in this one specific area. Now I visited that area to go to the viral breakfast place that I went and it was a lot of food places around there. The food did look good on TikTok and the place that I went to, it was really good. That was in part two of my Denver vlog. So go to part two if you want to see that restaurant that we went to and just like look at the menu because I put the menu in the vlog and everything just so you can see about how much you need to spend and have when like I when I was explaining I was like it's not like a chilies you know chilies you can go three for ten you can get some entrees for about 14 you know what I'm saying 15 16 is really some pricey entrees really kind of when we was at that breakfast spot pricey entrees is like 19 20 you know it was like a little bit more but just to think about it you went to Denver Colorado that's a place where people smoke where you smoke you eat so you gotta take all that into consideration but the food was decently pricey like I said they went viral on TikTok so, and even our waiter was like they've been slammed since they went viral because when we went it wasn't like we needed to make a reservation but it was some people in there and there was more people coming as we were eating as well so like i was saying about the folk the the state is a, a recreational smoking state let's move into the dispensaries 
So when we went to the dispensary, I'm gonna give you on Texas average price is what we spend. So you can see average on average about how much things vary what it could be. And then I'm gonna put it on this side what we actually spent in Denver. So there was a lot of affordable things that were out there as far as flowers considered. Um, not really a big edibles girl, but I did purchase some that were fairly affordable. I had like a little circle canteen with like 10 of them in there. It was supposed to be the best or whatever, and they were like $30, you know what I'm saying? So that's to give you an estimate on that. And like I said, the flower prices, I'm gonna put those on the screen because I don't really just wanna be going tit for tat. But y'all can see it's relatively cheap. We did into the, I feel like the best deal we got, we ended up getting an ounce for around $90. And that dispensary is in vlog part one. That was the one that we went to after we went to the Red Rock. So if you seen the vlog and you seen that dispensary on the screen, you already know that's the one we went to. But it was a lot of dispensaries out there that had those big ounce deals and we were just like, that must be some crazy mid. No, that ounce we got was some fine. So if you want a good ounce and you wanna know where we got that from, like I said, go watch part one. But yeah, the dispensary scene was cool. Um, we went to three or four different dispensaries in the entire time that we were out there and all the prices were fairly much the same. They had different levels and scales of weed and that's just how they did their thing. You know what I'm saying? That's really I feel like how it's all it is in every dispensary. Now I can say in comparison to Las Vegas when I went there, it's way cheaper. And I can say that it's cheaper than what we spend in Texas as well because you're not gonna find no else in Texas for that price, especially if there's some gas and stuff so no big. So that's just to keep you on the up and up about what you're gonna pay in a dispensary. Um, the weather, that's another big thing a lot of people have been asking me about. So I'm gonna do weather in parts and in segments because we ended, we did end up going to Winter Park and the mountains portion. So when you go in the mountains, it's a lot colder. You gotta dress up be appropriate for that. But like I said, when we were in the Vogue regular, then we went to the Red, Red, Red Rock Amphitheater thing. Um, we were wearing regular clothes for the most part. Like, it wasn't a situation where you needed to have on, like, your long trench coat with your sweater, I mean, with your scarf and your gloves to just walk around. No, it was nothing like that. Um, if you had, like, regular um, warm-up suits, you'll be fine. Denim jacket fits, you know. Like, stuff that's not too, too thick. And I'm gonna put the time frame that I went here, too, on the screen, just so you'll know and just see, like, I will put the weather on there as well, so you can also see what we dealt with with the weather. Um, it didn't end up raining than it was supposed to. It kind of looked gloomy the day we went to the mountains, but we spent a lot of the time at that mountain that day, so if it rained in Denver, we wasn't there for it. Um, and like I said, the weather was chill. It wasn't like too, too, too bad. Like I really was in my mind overthinking this trip. Like I said, being from Texas, when you very you going to a cold place, you're like, oh, I need to bundle up. It wasn't like that. Like you can wear a regular hoodie and still be warm on the regular daytime, especially in the sun. But if it's like colder at nighttime, we really wasn't outside like that, but it was cold. Like when we were trying to smoke on like a little patio thing, we had to insulate it with trash bags and stuff like that because it was cold out there. So if you plan on doing night stuff, you might want to dress a little bit more warm, but that's what you're supposed to do if the sun is down. So it's like kind of logical in that sense. And like I said, this is all according to the weather that I experienced when I was there, not like just their general average everyday weather. Okay. Um. So like I said, the weather is different from Winter Park, from Denver to Winter Park. Like I said, there's a big elevation. You literally go up the mountains driving from Denver to Winter Park. Um, we noticed the climate change as we were driving. Like once we got kind of a little bit in the mountains, we kind of stick our hand out the window. It was like. It's a little bit cooler up here, you know? And then as you keep going up, it keeps getting icier and icier and colder and colder. We luckily went there during the time where there wasn't any ice on the road. We didn't have to deal with that, but you could tell that that's a thing because literally the sides of the road were covered in snow. So if it was raining really, really hard, like me not raining really hard, snowing really, really hard, it probably would have been ice on the road, cold, because it was like 15 degrees in the mountain. So. Like I said, we talk about mountain weather and what to wear. Now, when I was in the mountain, this is what I had on. Everybody else who was with me did not have on uh, just like a snowsuit and stuff like that. And they seemed to be fine. It was a lot of people, in, well not a lot of people, people that came with me, they were majority in layers. Like I know Kendaka had on tights, another pair of tights, something else, and jeans, and then socks, and then we got snowshoes. Oh, 
snow stuff for the cheap. Make sure you watch vlog part two where you can see that we went to Goodwill. That was a no or tip that I picked up in a lot of the different vlogs that I watched from Denver. Just people even going through the snow stuff. Like going to Denver for snow stuff but like going there just to two and all that type of stuff. Like people go to these thrift stores in Denver, Colorado and people have already turned their stuff in or stuff they bought because they don't want to fly back home and you can buy them for cheap. Like I got some snow boots for $9 instead of spending 50 60 70 dollars on boots before i went to denver like my plan was to only wear them things one time so when i tell y'all go to those places go to those places i also saw some skin equipment in the goodwill that we went to um if you want some more information on a specific goodwill just dm me and i'll send you like the exact one that i went to but it is in the vlog and i did put it there because that's a really good tip. Like we got gloves there, we got all types of stuff there, like snow gloves, like big poofy gloves. Um, and then we got boots. I got boots, Kendaka got boots. Her boots was like, they said they were like 20 something dollars, but I think they ended up being like 15, 16 dollars, you know? And that was cool. Like instead of having to spend all that money on stuff that you only wanna use one time, especially if you're from a place like Texas, where it's not snowing like that, that's a really, really good tip. Like, if you want to save money getting your ski equipment and stuff like that down the mountain before you go up, really, really good tip. I highly, highly recommend going to a Goodwill and just looking. Now, do take into consideration that you're going to get what you get and you can't go a fit. Because once you get there and you that's what you decided you're going to go with, the Goodwill stuff, and then there's nothing at the Goodwill, you don't find anything, you're as well. So you have to take all that into consideration. That was my whole reason on buying the snow suit and not the snow boots. Cause I was like, I feel like I have a better odds of finding boots than I would finding a suit. So I went ahead and got the suit and then I was like doing stuff with the, uh, doing stuff as far as like, I'm gonna get this, I'm not gonna get this, I'm gonna get this, I'm not gonna use it. Like I got my scarf, but I didn't get gloves. I got some ear warmers, but I didn't get, um, what I didn't get. I got everything else. But you know what I'm saying? Like I went to that Goodwill with the intentions of buying the stuff specifically for the snow so I wouldn't have to, like I said, spend excess money. And I did get my snow suit for like forty, fifty dollars. I got my snow suit for like forty, fifty dollars, so it really wasn't even a big old, big old, big old deal. Um now that I cover cheap snow gear. I'm doing a vlog. What's up, what's up? Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> That my boy Alex, y'all. I told y'all I was at work. But, um, so, we got into that. I told y'all where to get y'all cheap with the stuff from. The last thing I want to tell y'all about is the scene. Like, what we did was to do. Now, I'm going to tell you straight up, Denver is not a place where you go and you're just like, oh, yeah, I want to go out every night. And I want to go to four different restaurants and this, this, and this. Yes, they do have a cool food scene, but it's like that's not i'm gonna say that's not what we went down there with intentions of doing they don't have any super big scenery things where you just like oh my god i have to visit this this and this except for the rare like rare rock and but there's like stuff outside of denver yeah but i'm talking about like downtown denver it's like a walking scene a nice street with a lot of different dispensaries and restaurants like average stuff that you find in regular cities like background photo shoot places nothing like screaming oh my god i went to denver and i went too you know so i really feel like if you go to denver you go in there to either smoke get into some snow activities mountains and sceneries or just like a general cheap place to link because it is like i said affordable so Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Do not be going to Denver like, yeah, girl, we're going to go to Nobu. We're going to go to uh, this, this, and this, 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 and this. Because you're really not. Um, and if you do, you that's all you're going to do. Like, you're just going to be there in and out of restaurants. And there's not going to be, like, nothing else to do. Like, when I tell you to the point where you'd be like, okay, I want to go to the movies. And you're on a whole, on a whole vacation. And you're like, yeah, I'd rather go to the movies than go to the backdrop museum. And stuff like that. Like, it's not nothing to do but it wasn't just like a lot of stuff that's screaming tourist stuff let me say that so now that i have put all that order 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 into this video um i let y'all know everything you need to know about the price i let y'all know everything i need to know about the weather I let you know what y'all need to expect about what to do if you have any more questions about denver anything more specific ZM me comments down below i will get back to you and you know that um I'm not going to stretch this video out too, too long. 
I have to go, go, go. But thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure y'all again watch part one and part two so y'all can actually see the trip and actually see what we did, what we do. You know what I'm saying? But thanks y'all so much for watching. I love y'all. Y'all love me. And that's why we get along. And baby, 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 we in vlogs. Y'all, but for real though, y'all, thanks for watching. Goes on and on and on. You give, give.